All right. Now we do. I'm going to client side. Okay, XP and assemble ex assumable that you may know what is SP four. It's service pack version two or version three. So I'm sure you know where is it to looking for. Uh, there we go. Service pack three at the moment on the TIFF packet. Whatever they provide to you for this XP. Um, now we go on to the first one. Okay, first is first change into a computer account. Computer account here. That was the one step that we done in here. Okay, so you better record down ways. I don't know where you, how you record down, but now we go into what step? Step here. Okay, that step we do is now. Okay, we go into XP. So what computer I changed there? That I make as a reception. Okay, that's my my um, computer name account. So I change them, reboot them, click OK, and then just restart. Okay, and then re restart them. Okay, let them restart. So while they restart, we just you know sit back and relax. Okay, now it look like come back up now. Uh, restart, come back up, and then go to here. Uh, hit send the control panel. I uh, send the control on delete right. And the password, I don't know what is my password. I click it in. I'm sure you know what the password, the, the complex one. Okay, so one part I just done. Uh, what about ping this? I'm sure I can ping. You figure them out that part, right? How to ping the linear. It's not work, then they don't proceed further. Now I do number three. Join it in, right? Join it in. Uh, join to the domain. Now go back there. Uh, then go into what is it? Uh, computer, go for changes and the domain. What is my domain? Lin.local. I think Lin.local, I guess. Let me check what is my domain. How do I know what is my domain? Don't do like me, right? You should, re you should write down the paper. Whatever you do, write on your paper where you get the mark for 30% in your journal engineering. So better write down. Test, PIS. Um, my domain is lean dot local in cap. All right, so I do. I'm going to do in here lean dot local in cap, lean dot local in capital. All right, then I hit all right. It's okay on that, and then see what they re respond. They should ask me the username and password. Oh, it's so quiet. Okay, now we got problem. Okay, what they says here. Uh, domain name dialog server not records is lindoc local whatever here, and the IP address DNS server local root what is it there? Okay, now we do some troubleshooting, right? Okay, leave it there. We come back to check whether our Win server is correct. Oop, oop, oop. Not that, not that, not that. It's not the dynamic TX. Anyway, check it up here. Win server is there, DNS, everything is there. Okay, now we got, I think the most problem is, is in Linux area, not in the window area. Uh, Lin local. Lin local. So, sh should I restart this one more time? Make sure that I have changed stuff then. And not restart the Shamba. Uh, what else? What else I supposed to do? So I'll come back here, reception in the local thing. Okay, again, it should pop up right away. Did it take this long or something not right at all? It should be all right. Hmm, not good. Let's see what message I gotta say this time. Domain controller cannot be contacted. Ensure the domain is up properly. Uh, and top to do main detail there. Okay, let's do some troubleshooting, right? All right, people. What I done here? What I'm? What, what I just test? I'm figure them out. Not figure them out. What I'm going to do? I just before it was lower case, but I don't care with the main uh, local, and then I just change that become cap. All right. Lean dot local. You can try to put it down local. It may not it lower case. It may not work. So I'm putting capital now, and then I reboot them. Right, reboot them. Then go back to window. Try it again. Lean. Uh, what is that? In cap, right? Lean dot local. It should be alright by now. So the domain name 
in Linux must be in cap. All right. Let's see for the response. Okay, it means that a domain name in Linux, okay, a domain name in Linux here, it must be in capital, right? Must be in capital. I repeat, this one had to be in cap. If it lower case, it's not working. Originally, when you modify that, you also see this one in cap, right? So please look into that. Okay, what is username here to lock it in? Root. And what is the password? The password, you, you, you put the password, which you done that before in the in the current user step right my password I know what it is oh, well, I put my own password and then I log in it should be all right now and after this they might ask me how to go to be restart the window of course and uh, yeah, wait see what they respond take some time Okay, when you, well, I think it's quicker than mine. My, my, my just somehow it's just a little bit slow. So now it's done, right? So it should be like Window you know, in Windows 90 2008 or Windows 2003 domain control, like similar message. So click OK, and then uh, if I say restore computer, and here you need to restore computer. You don't have a choice. All right, and then restart the computer. All right, and then wait. So in the meantime, left on waiting, you know what is the username already, right? Yeah, log in the Shamba client username. So in the one I created, there was, I think, uh, test one, I guess. And I don't know what is your, so this one should be root account. So whatever you do, basically, whatever, whatever steps that you do or you get out from this uh, postcard, you need to write down, okay? You need to write down whatever here, write down whatever there. Again, that's your journal engineering. You need to get um, whatever part that you got to be, you know, 30%. It depends on you, how you record down and how you understand that. And if you got question, of course, I'm here ready to help you guys. Okay, hopefully they've been restored back now. Now I'm locking. I sent the control panel in here. And uh, now I have a domain, I'm select option. What my username? Test one, I guess. And my password, of course. And login. Hopefully, I'm logging all right. Hmm, looking, it's not bad. This is the first time logging that creates whatever desktop profile for my username. All right, so I'm logging. All right, beautiful. Now I have my beautiful window login. Of course, virtualization environment. And I'm going to Explorer and see what I got. Oof, I have test one account. So this is the network account, all right? So they're telling you what's my server here, Shamba 3. Uh, Shamba this is my version there, the version there, and the test one, my profile there. Now they're created. And you can right click in here, all your data is on Shamba. And you can make any folder here or file, whatever file there, it's saved on the Linux server anyway. For example, this is testing, testing data, data. Okay, the folder there, or you may go into Linux and you figure them out. It's in your Linux, it's in your Linux, right? So cd slash home, cd slash home, and then ls dash l, and then you go into test, you go into test one. It says there we go. So now it's in Linux. This is Linux, right? So whatever there. Whoever created that person will heritage from the domain. So back to the window. There we go. Um, I think that very much for me how to join the domain, utilize the utilize window as a client and Shamba as a domain controller. You can bypass your window 2008 server perhaps. And from here you may see right click on network place, explorer and type network, don't go to virtual line, but go to Microsoft, you see that? Lean local there, that's a reception, that's my computer, that's a server at the moment, you see that server name there. You can change this version to whatever here, you can cheat in people, I'll show you how to, how to do that. You can come here, change the version, right? Uh, test, shamba, shamba .sab, uh version, version here. You don't want to put anything there, okay? You put the string will be, uh, window, win, window, 
uh, window 2010 and 12 no one's stopping you you put 64 bit a thousand bits there's no one now anyway okay save them and then restart your shamba of course and come over here window here refresh them uh, see what you got hopefully the common will be changed uh, this one takes some say see that it changed now it's not that reflect there you just close hopefully the reflex or you may need to reboot your computer and then we'll show you not we got the wrong one exploring window there we go see that window 2012 but actually that is the linear computer it doesn't mean anything to do with window 2012 it's just a common it doesn't mean anything people can find out what is your server the name actual server all right um i think that's it and better capture write down whatever you had to write down and best of luck and now you one of your machine is become client okay in conclusion this exercise that help you to make the shamba here as a at the client talk to the domain controller at the shamba so what is shamba is the interface between window platform computer system to a linux platform computer system so shamba is a gateway between shamba between linux system on the left here and client as a and the window platform it's a gateway between the, the shamba sharing file and sharing printer and as sometimes acting as domain controller so in our scenario in here, you don't forget about the bottom part here, but it, in reality, that's what the way we work. All right, then people, enjoy and good luck.